or to have this book that I'm working with and I don't want the default page number one to be the title page. I want it to actually be pages within the book. So for example, I want the introduction to be page number one. Currently, if you go insert page numbers and then wherever you want the page number to be, so in my case, let's just go top right, what's gonna happen is it's going to set that first page as page one. But since I want the introduction page to be page one, you kinda gotta work with it a little bit. So this is how you do that. All right, under the Home tab, I'm gonna click on this little icon here, which is gonna give me formatting information. And I wanna make sure that this introduction where I want page one to be is a different section. So if you look up, I've got a page break going from my chapters to introduction, but I don't have a section break. So what you wanna do is go up to layout and you've got this here breaks, click on that. And under the section break section, select here, next page. So now you notice I've got section break and a page break before my introduction. Now that I've got that set correctly, I'm gonna to go to insert like I did before, page numbers, and I'm gonna to go top right a page. Of course, you can go bottom a page, wherever you want your page numbers to be. Now you notice it still starts with the six because it's still holding on to that information. So I need to change something here real quick. Go up and you've got this option here, link to previous, which is telling it to continue those page numbers from the previous. We don't want that. So click that. It will unlink it so it's no longer highlighted. Now go back to insert page numbers and we're going to go to this format page number option. Select that. As you can see with the page number dialog box that came up, it's still pulling continue from previous section. Instead, change that to start at one. So that's going to tell this page to start at page one. Hit OK, and you see it charged, changed to one. Now if you scroll up, you'll see that we've still got page numbers in those previous sections. Well, I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to click on the first one, page one, and then page numbers and remove page numbers. So it's going to get rid of those page numbers from the previous section and then keep the page numbers from the new section. And then I'm going to scroll down and assuming everything is working correctly, the preface section is page one, or the introduction is page one. And it's actually page two because it's got that page break here. So I'm gonna fix the page break. And let's get rid of that. There we go. And now I've got introduction is one, two, so forth and so on, while that's going to be showing blank. Now, if you're noticing my contents are not correct, I just need to update that table of contents. And now it's showing correctly. A couple tips if you're doing this and you find that it's not working correctly. Be careful that sometimes when you're in one view, because there's multiple designs, um, you might have clicked off something when it should still be selected. So it's real touchy. If it's not exact, you might experience problems with these page numbers showing correctly. So just kind of pay attention to that. If you're having problems, that's most likely where the problems are coming from is uh, you might have like accidentally clicked on something that you weren't supposed to click on. So just reset it all and just give it another try. Good luck.